Just saw something I better remember to take down. I'm gonna have to, gonna have to grab my screw gun for that. Can't forget that thing. So you probably noticed I haven't done any sled tips videos lately. Well, from the looks of the shop behind me, you can probably tell why. On that, but got a little surprise for you guys. Um, excited to show you what we've been working on the last couple of weeks. Um, it's exciting. We're gonna. It's exciting. I'm gonna miss the old shop here. It's kind of where it all started, and by kind I mean it is where it all started. Um, cut our teeth in here, set up my first race sled in here, worked on a lot of sleds in here, parted out a lot of sleds, a lot of dirt bikes, a few four-wheelers, um, did a lot of stuff in this little garage. Not a lot of square footage, like I said, but definitely an action-packed, uh, action-packed few square feet that are in here. I'll miss it. My dad helped me hang some, well, he helped me do a lot. We, we did a bunch of wiring in here, put new outlets every so often. We wired in some heat, um, wired in all these, all these lights. I should probably turn the lights on so this video's got a little better lighting. That was one big thing is the only light I used to have in the, in the whole garage was that guy right there and then I think I had a hanging light over the bench that used to be, be sitting here but we put in four different fixtures a lot of good lighting in here I'll miss that don't worry I got good lighting where I'm going we had lined the walls with whiteboard I'm the type of guy I can't remember anything unless I write it down so I gotta write everything down if I don't write it down right away, I'll never remember to write it down. So it's kind of a vicious cycle, but by putting whiteboards on the wall, I was able to keep track of what I was doing, jot down notes, lists for running up to the hardware store, lists for ordering parts, lists for getting ready to go to racing, you name it. So it was always a lot of fun being able to say that I was doing all my work out of about a 200 square feet of space. It's a little bit more than that, but you get the idea. It's a single stall garage. It's a single stall that's tucked under a, a split level house. But a lot of good memories, but with all good memories, um, things got to come to an end to open up new doors and move forward. Uh, so I'm happy to say, out with the old, and in with the new. Welcome to Longton Motorsports' new home. We bought ourselves a little bit of room, and we're pretty excited about it. Probably uh, triple the size of the old garage. A lot of pretty awesome amenities. So, wife and I bought a new property. Um, that's what we've been doing the last couple of weeks is, I guess, mostly cleaning up our, our old property, uh, listing that, getting that sold. We were fortunate enough, I actually sold in about a day and a half. Um, we had a few offers and picked a good one. So we were able to get that moved, so we could uh, move right in over here. But yeah, new shop. You'll be seeing all of our work done in here now, which I'm really excited about. It'd be nice to have some room. We'll be able to set up uh, some stations since we are taking on a couple more race sleds this year. It'll be, be nice to have, I guess, kind of a workstation set up for each sled. You can see I got Frankie in here already. 
This is the sled we're doing the 144 rail extension on. It's a 05 Snow Pro with a F7 motor in it. Anyway, we'll be getting this place set up. I'll be hanging some cabinets on the walls. On the south wall here, I'll be hanging some cabinets up on the uh, west wall. Um, got some floor drains and stuff, so I got, can, I got water out here, floor drains. It's got its own, uh, its own electrical service. So, be able to do quite a bit more out here. Can look at things like getting a welder, and you can wash the vehicles inside, and. So it's kind of fun. I'm excited. My brother's excited. Uh, a lot of people are excited for us. We're really fortunate. About everything is the way I would have done it. I say that because I'm not creative. But anything we got to do, we'll, we'll do. There's a lot of things they did right. I like how they got outlets. Um, about every other stud. So you should really never need an extension cord out here. But if you were to ever need one, he hung one from the ceiling. It's little things like that that I'm kind of excited about. Um, air compressor up in the attic so that it's not taking up any space in your shop floor and it's a little bit quieter in the shop. So we'll get this all laid out and get back to work on videos, get back to work on sleds. We'll definitely, as soon as we get moved in here, the first thing that's going to have to happen is these, these bays that are workstations I'm talking about over here are going to have to get set up. And we got to pull race sleds in and start getting them tore down because it's August already and there's a lot of work to be done. It'll be a lot of fun. Really excited for the year. Really excited to be moving up and racing semi pro. It's going to have its challenges, it's going to have its questions. Um, yeah, it's going to be exciting. So stay tuned. Oh yeah, that's something else I might have to tell you guys about one day. <laughs>